All right, so um, I once again left uh, the show down to the last couple of minutes, and I wanted to talk to you about buy, improve, and hold, and so I'll do it in a fairly abbreviated fashion. You can always go to ownamerica.com, sign up for a free class, all done by me, all videos, all explaining all these things in detail. An hour is just not enough. Uh, you, t- you, t- you clear your throat and the hour is gone. <laughs> buy and hold, everybody knows buy and hold is the right way to build wealth in real estate. But professional investors want more, okay? They want a little extra edge, and so they buy into the buy, improve, and hold. And the areas of improvement, there are some obvious ones, okay? You buy a dilapidated house, you improve it physically, okay? Put a new kitchen in, put new appliances in, whatever. That's the obvious way, okay? Because if you have a property that is being rented, it's being rented for $1,000, and it's got 1960s appliances, (laughs) When you replace those appliances and put better countertops on and better kitchen, uh, uh, better uh, cabinetry, you can rent it for more. All right? It's real simple. It doesn't increase the value of the property per se when you put a new kitchen in. If you bought a house that you were going to live in and you put a new kitchen in, you didn't increase the value of the house. You increased the saleability of the house because it has a more updated kitchen. But when it's a rental property, it does because the, how nice the place is is directly related to how much rent you can get. How much rent you can get has an impact on what the value of the property is. So the most obvious thing is every piece of real estate in this country is in a constant state of renovation, deterioration, renovation, deterioration, right? They're just wearing and tearing as we sit here right now. So there's always a piece of property in need of updating and renovation. And some people let their properties go so far down in terms of dilapidation that they can't even sell them because A, nobody wants them or the banks won't finance them because there are some actual serious problems with the place. So they can't sell it to a home buyer who's getting a mortgage. There are people out there getting steals on houses right now because there's no competition for the, to, to buy the property because nobody who's going to live there and getting a mortgage can actually get a mortgage because the house needs too much improvement. Another one of the areas where um, there's opportunity to change and improve a property is in areas of zoning or allowable use. And I'll give you one quick example. I bought a property once. It was a three-bedroom house. It had a den. The den had a closet. The den became a fourth bedroom. So that property increased in value as a result of that. So we are now down to the end of the show. I hope that was helpful for you. What I want to do is I want to welcome some of the new affiliates of the Own American Network. You're listening to Randon Real Estate, which is brought to you by the Own American Network. We're proud to welcome our new affiliates this month, Century 21 Beggins in Tampa, Capstone Residential in Jacksonville, Caldwell Banker Preferred in Las Vegas, Remax Advantage in Las Vegas, ERA Real Estate throughout Central New Jersey, Cobalt Banker Coastal Alliance in Orange County, California, ERA Caputo in Nassau County, New York, Remax of Barrington in Chicago, Remax Properties in Colorado Springs, Remax Best Choice in St. Louis, Watson Realty Group in Jacksonville, and of course, Better Homes and Gardens, Rand Realty, my family business. If you'd like to bring the Own America Network to a town, a town near you, call us at 888-332-7722. We love the weekends as much as you do.